Hi, I'm Jacob Pavlich. I'm the Assistant Service Manager here at Rustero Kia of Waukesha. I want to talk to you today about the difficulties of diagnosis and share an experience with you. Uh, so nowadays, a lot of the vehicles have sensors and have different wiring harnesses and things of that nature that help us in diagnosing your vehicle, but sometimes that doesn't always work. Um, for an example, I had a customer that had their vehicle towed to our location. The vehicle wouldn't start for her. It died in the middle of a Walmart parking lot and just would not start for her. The vehicle gets towed into our location. She's obviously a little upset. We go out, vehicle starts up right away. We started it over two days, a total of 24 times, and it started every single time for us. We returned it to the customer. Customer drove about a mile and a half, two miles down the road, came back to her house, stopped, went back out the next day, wouldn't start. She had it towed back into us. Vehicle gets here, vehicle starts right away. This continues for a few times where we're going back and forth. We're checking everything on the vehicle, looking at the body harnesses, checking to see if there's any stored code in the system. There was none. Looking to see if there is anything with the ignition, looking to see if there's anything with the spark plugs, looking to see if there's anything at all causing this issue. Now, thankfully, the customer was very nice, was very patient, and sometimes you just have to have that patience to find out what's going on with these vehicles. Thankfully, after she had the vehicle towed in the last time, we were able to get it not to start. After doing some deep diagnosis, we found out that an out of the way body harness that led to the fuel pump had a melted connection in there that was expanding and contracting with the hot and cold, causing it to start when it was cooled down enough, but if it was warm enough, it would expand and open up more and it wouldn't work. We were able to find out what was wrong with it. We were able to make the repair successfully. We were able to return the vehicle, happy for the customer, happy for us, win-win situation and a learning experience. The moral of the story here is, yes, with the new sensors and everything else in the vehicle, in ease of diagnostics, sometimes it does take extra work. Sometimes it takes more than an hour. Sometimes it takes more than a couple hours. Sometimes it may take a few tries for us to find out what's going on with the vehicle because some things can just be elusive and it takes patience, hard work, and everybody working together. With that being said, everything turned out good and I just wanted to share this experience with you and I hope that you have a great day. Again, if you ever want to set up an appointment, our number here is 262 547-1300. We'll be glad to help you out with any of your oil change needs, diagnostics, or anything else we can help for you. Thank you for your time and stay warm out there.